Hey, what's good, 10K gang? Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about Leangelo Ball. Now, we all know Leangelo and LaMelo has been doing their thing in Lithuania. Leangelo, he's been averaging at least 20 points a game. But just recently, Leangelo and LaMelo had their first professional start. And he only had 13 points, but he had four rebounds and shot 50 field goal percentage and 100% from the three-point line. Now, I just want to do this video just to talk about Leangelo Ball. We all know Leangelo is 19 years old, so, you know, he can enter the NBA draft when he gets done playing with Lithuania this season. And I just want to give you guys my opinion, like, is Leangelo ready for the NBA? What's your opinion on Leangelo Ball? Now, this is the thing. We all know Leangelo Ball is 6'5", 230 pounds, so he's got a little size on him. Now, the question is, is Leangelo Ball ready for the NBA? Honestly, in my opinion, right now he's in the middle, but he's kind of getting there. Like, in my opinion, Leangelo Ball, he's not really ready for the NBA, but he is kind of getting there. I can see him developing a lot because as you can see, just watching him play, you know, he gets off his shot quicker. He's been working on his jump shot. And that's the thing I like about Leangelo Ball. That's probably the best thing I like about Leangelo is he can really, really shoot the ball. Leangelo Ball can really shoot the ball, like for real, for real. Even if he make the NBA, you know, he can turn into a spot up shooter. I can see Leangelo Ball just being like a Kyle Korver type player, just coming off the pick and roll, just pulling it up for a three because Leangelo Ball can really shoot the ball. And his shot is very, very quick. In my opinion, Leangelo shooting that ball is his strong suit. Now, I know a lot of people be debating about the ball brothers. They be like, oh, who's the best ball handler? Who's the best scorer and everything? And it's usually always between Lonzo and LaMelo, right? But who's the best shooter between all three of the ball brothers, right? Who do y'all think? Honestly, I know who's the best shooter. It's definitely Leangelo. Leangelo Ball can shoot better than LaMelo, and he can shoot better than Lonzo Ball. For real, for real. Just looking at Leangelo's shot, first of all, Leangelo has a very, very perfect shot. Like, he's always balanced. It doesn't matter where he's coming from. He will run to the three-point line, and it will just pass him the ball. You know, he will look off balance, but when he pull up for that three, he's balanced. I'm telling you guys, like, I see Leangelo Ball turning into a Kyle Korver or a Klay Thompson just because he really do play similar to Kyle Korver and Klay Thompson man coming off the pick and rolls and stuff and he's just always at the corner waiting for that ball for a three that's the thing about Leangelo he is always ready he is always ready and you can tell you can count on Leangelo ball because he will be ready you know as you can see LeVar has taught his kids how to get back during fast breaks that's why they always you know cherry picking the ball down the court so Every time when LaMelo or somebody get a rebound, you are going to see Leangelo Ball down the court. He's going to be down there ready to get the ball for an easy layup. Or if it's not a layup, he's going to go straight for the three-point line. Right when you bring the ball up the court, he's ready for that three. I know Leangelo has a lot of things he got to work on, for sure. He has a lot of things he got to work on, man. He's 6'5", so if he enters the NBA, that's really a point guard position. Point guard slash shooting guard position, you know? So, of course, he's going to be a shooting guard. But in my opinion, I feel like Leangelo should work on his handling. You know, I know he likes to post up a lot, but I feel like he's getting too comfortable posting up defenders like he's a big man. I understand that, you know, he just got out of high school and stuff, and he always posts up defenders. But... If he's going to get better with that post up fadeaway type shot, you know, if he learn how to do that, then okay, I won't have no problem with that. But, you know, he be trying to post up and do big man moves. Like, I understand that it's easy in Lithuania, but when you enter the NBA, you're not going to be doing those post up moves on these big centers and these big power forwards and stuff like that. Even the shooting guards and small forwards, they be big also. So I feel like he just got to get out of his comfort zone and just learn how to do different things on the court instead of always thinking to post up you know him staying at the three-point line waiting for the ball that's great or whatever but sometimes you know you got to switch it up man and definitely you're Leangelo so people's gonna expect more than just you shooting the threes that's one thing it doesn't matter how much hype you have in this world it does not matter man do not change up your game for fans don't change up your game for other people unless you know that it's an all-star type game or something like that but if it's real games and people just want you to do things just because they want to see it don't change up your games for you know your fans and stuff everybody brings their own sauce to the table as you can see, everybody always make fun of Leangelo just because he don't pay like LaMelo and Lonzo, but that's fine. That's fine. He don't have to pay like them. You know, he has his own sauce to the game and he will bring his own to the table. 
but in my opinion i feel like leangelo ball he's getting there i'm not sure if he's nba ready right now he might be g league ready right now i'm not sure but he's getting there but for sure after he finishes the season with the wing you know he's gonna be way way better than how he first started but that's just my opinion but i think you guys will watch it make sure you like and subscribe make sure you press that notification button ck game we out